Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I want to talk about attacking and defending the low legs. Okay, uh, the type of shield that I'm using, you know, a heated heater shield. I use this corner here to basically block my head, you know, uh, and I use that corner to block the leg shots. Um, and basically, I'm, I fight around the corners. Okay, so basically, I keep my hand behind the shield edge as I'm attacking. Um, now, here's the thing: if my opponent has a similar shield, right? If I throw, let's say, a right size work help, okay, and he picks up that, you know, he picks up the block, it's, the, the sword is going to basically ride that shield edge and it's going to glance up into the head. Same thing with a left size work help. It's probably going to skip and go into the head. Uh, same deal with the middle how. If I throw a right side middle how, okay, it'll hit that and it'll glance down. Left side middle how, it'll hit that shield edge and glance down. Now the shield is going to take most of the power. Um, but you don't want a, a sword, a sword that's relatively sharp, you know, going into your head or into your shins. Okay. Now, if you have a war shield, you're basically at war, so you're gonna have some type of armor, some type of you know body armor. Now, the period that I cover is pre-15th century, so we're not wearing plate armor, uh, but we, we're using other forms. We have mail, we have leather, you know, we have linen. Um, you know, um, so there's other forms of armor that are available to us that we're going to use, okay? So at the minimum, with the head, we want, a, at the minimum, we want a male coif, uh, ideally with a nasal cap, a normal nasal cap over it, but we want something that's going to catch those glancing blows. Um, now, with, with, with a nasal cap that only weighs a pound and a half, you, know, you don't want to catch a full power blow, you know, from the body straight in, into, that, in, into that nasal cap because... You know, it's, you know, it only weighs a pound and a half. I mean, you can still get a concussion through that, okay? Um, so we want to use the shield to, 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 to block with, okay? And the, the, the helmet is there just to catch the blows that might skip off the shield. Um, same deal with the, uh, with, with the leg block. Um, at the minimum, you want some type of leather. Okay, this is leather. Wrap around, you know, I mean, pretty easy, cheap to make, nothing, you know. Um, you know, uh, you know, you could also use wraps. You know, you can put splints and stuff inside them. You know, there, there's many forms of armor. You know, that you know, you know, um, you know, head armor tends to be a little bit involve a little bit more work because basically it has to be fitted to your head. Uh, but but as far as coming up with leg armor, um, that's probably a lot easier to come up with. So all you got to do is be a little bit creative with it. Um, now, one of the things I want to say, okay, over here I have some steel gra greaves, okay. Um, and I can tell you guys that with, even with steel greaves, you do not want to be hit straight into the shin, okay? Um, and the reason is because, the, you know, when, when you're standing and you got all your weight on your leg, if you get hit in, in, in the shin, your leg is not going to move. So it's, uh, let me put this down. You know, it's not like if, I'm, if I get hit in the arm, right, let's say I have some type of leather or mail over here, okay? This, let's say a weapon hits my arm. You know, in addition to the armor that I have here, the arm is also going to move when it gets hit. So that's also going to uh, diffuse the power of the blow a little bit. Um, same thing if I get hit in the head. You know, the head, you know, basically if I get hit, the head's going to give, okay? The legs don't give. When you get hit in that shin, all the power transfers straight into that leg. Um, so even with the steel greaves, if I get, you know, you know, on the, on the few times that I've been hit at full power into the, in, into the, into the, uh, into the grief, uh, I mean, yes, it did spread the impact out so it didn't break my leg, um, but that power still transferred through, you know, into the bone. And basically you feel a shooting pain that just comes right up your leg. Um, and it's one of those things that will definitely, you know, um, um, you know, I mean, it can stop you from being able to think and, and, and fight effectively, okay? It, 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 it can be that powerful, that, that pain that shoots up your leg. Um, so th the point is you want to use the shield to block. Don't depend on the armor, okay? Um, and like I said, in the period that we're covering, um, you know, uh, steel greaves are not really in use. We're using leather, we're using wraps, we're using other things, although I'm sure there might have been cases of, of um, you know, of, of some steel greaves, or at least um, uh, leather with steel splints on the inside, but but we're using the shield uh, to block this. Okay? Now, let's talk about attacking. As I said in prior videos, all advanced fighting is about misdirection. 
So if I want to attack the legs, I'm going to throw that high croup how on the left side so I can come down and throw that right middle how. Or I'm going to throw that right zwerch how so then I can throw the uh, left middle how. So what I want to do is, because from that position there, if I, if I throw, let's say I'm trying to go just below that, 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 that shield edge, it's too easy for them to just basically drop that corner down a little bit to block it, okay? Um, so what we want to do is we want to get this shield moving upwards, okay? So because if it's moving upwards, it'll take more time for them to bring it back down. So we're going to threaten high and then go low, okay? Um, and then we will have a much better chance of getting to that low leg, okay? Now, let's, you know, over here I'm fighting relatively close, okay? Um, at this angle here, like I said, they just kind of bring the shield edge down a little bit. You know, one of the options is an Utahau. That's going to go in right in between these two shield corners, okay, with that Utahau. Uh, and with, with that, basically, they're going to bring the, the corner in a little bit. Um, so that's also blockable. Um, now, one of the things I want to talk about is, let's say you're a little further out, okay, from here, I can hit, I can hit the head, but I can't hit the low leg, okay? Um, but actually I can. The way I would hit the low leg from here is I would basically drop, okay? And watch my short tip, okay? When I go down, you see how it comes in, okay? Now this is straight out of Lichenau. Lichenau says that the distance going across is shorter than the distance going, the distance going diagonally. Um, so what's happening in here is by dropping myself down, I'm shortening the distance, okay? So that's how I would attack that low leg. And basically I would fake high, drop and then take that leg okay? um, now there can be a disadvantage to doing that um, basically first of all if I drop I have to make sure I bring my shield high because if they do pick up that block uh, what's gonna happen is if I have my shield low okay as I throw it and they pick up that block they're just gonna croup out over the top and by me basically dropping down I'm giving them an easier angle to hit my head so anytime I'm dropping Shield, you know, basically, the shield actually stays at the same level, but in order for me to do that, I basically need to raise my arm, um, and that is a little bit more tiring on the arm. Um, the other th disadvantage of this is while I am dropping, it, it's basically like, it's harder for me to move. I'm using more energy, and it's harder for me to move. E effectively, I'm using two fencing times because basically, you know, coming down to attack is one fencing time, coming up is another fencing time. Um, so if they if they pick up that block during that fencing time, that second fencing time while I'm coming up, they can be doing something else, okay? Uh, so that's another thing to be aware of. Dropping down to get that, that angle to get to that low leg um, uses two fencing times and it can be uh, disadvantageous. Okay? Uh, by the time you get up, they might be in a, dip, at, in a different position. Um, so now let's, let's flip this around and let's talk about defense. Um, let me uh, bring this pole out a little bit. This pole basically represents my opponent's sword. And what I'm doing is I'm putting it at an angle. Let me raise it back in a little bit. Uh, I'm putting it at an angle so the shield is there. Okay, that's about the right reach. I'm actually got a little bit lower than I am. I would actually have to get a lot lower. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm being very generous right here with that, with that, with that shield angle. Okay. So let's talk about how I can block it. So now basically they, they drop, right? They drop so they can get that angle. Because here they can't reach it. By, by doing that, they can now reach my low leg. Okay. So I'll stand this way so you can see that, that thing. Clearly, okay, that's going to get under my, 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 my shield. Uh, but here's the thing, if I just squat down a little bit, you can see how that, that disappears, all right? So just by squatting down a little bit, and even just dropping my corner a little bit, I would want to do this with a squat. I can cover that, okay? So this is not impossible to block, okay? Um, it's actually, it's quite blockable, okay? Um, and it puts him in a disadvantage where now, you know, in order to throw that shot, He's basically had to squat down, okay? Once I pick up that block, okay, I'm immediately going to move in, you know, and, and do something, okay? So while he's getting up, 
I'm moving. I'm more mobile uh, than he is because he's he's down low and he's reaching in. Uh, so this can be uh, very disadvantageous on the defensive side. I can use that attack to counterattack him. Okay. Um, so that's something to be aware of. Now, one of the things to be aware of is that anytime somebody's attacking that le a leg, right, they can turn that into into a fake. Okay. So basically, you know, I can throw leg, and then from there throw low and then high. Okay. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm bringing the sword low, high, right. So here, li likewise, I can go, you know, I can go high, like I'm throwing his workshop, and then come down to the leg. You know, so I can come in and then throw low like that. Okay. So let me get this out of the way. We don't need this here right now. So that's one of the things to be aware of is that you know, all fighting is is about misdirection. Um, if we look at Lignitzer's six plays, uh, we see that all over the place. So, you know, the way he attacks the leg is by by threatening high. Okay. Um, so so basically, any any leg shot can turn into a head shot. Any head shot can turn into a leg shot. Um, and that's why we have to assume that um, you know. You know, when somebody's throwing a blow at us, it can go anywhere. So we pretty much have to protect the entire body. If somebody's throwing that leg shot, the way I'm going to, if I suspect they're going that low, okay, because, they, because they're at the distance that they can do it, what I'm going to do is as I squat down, I'm going to bring my sword over, okay? So, I'm, so if they're going for that low leg, I'm going to come up like this, okay, right? Because what's going to happen is if they come low, you know, if they go low and then high, Okay, you know, my sword is going to pick up that block up here. Okay, now what they can do is, you know, I can take that a step further. If, 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 uh, what I can do is from here, I can come here, bring it up, and then I can turn it over to that side. Okay, because if you look at me, right, when I, when I take, if somebody takes this block here, right, like this, that arm is very exposed now. I mean, it's way behind my shield, but, but now because, because of the way I'm blocking that leg, my arm and my ribs are very exposed. So think of uh, leg shots as a way to open up head shots and arm shots and rib shots. Okay? So you know, basically this is a double fake. Okay? I'm faking leg, coming up to the head, and then coming over to the other side. Okay? So I can go here, go into the ribs, you know, I can come up, and basically go into, that, go into the arm or, or the head or, you know, you know, because you can, you know, once you get somebody in a position where they're blocking that leg, and covering their head, okay. Um, you open, you know. Basically, you have a, you have a lot of places that you can go with the sword, and you can really, you know, you can you know, you can change your targeting at the last second. So as I'm coming here, I really haven't decided exactly where I'm going to go until I'm at this point here, and then I decide if I'm going low or if I'm going high or if I'm going, you know, if I'm going to the wrist or something. Okay. Um, so that's a very effective way of. of of using uh, leg uh, targeting, use the leg targeting to open up the headshot. Okay? Um, one of the things that you definitely don't want to do is block your legs like that. Okay? Um, there's a nothing but disadvantage to doing this. Um, you know, first of all, if, if somebody's in a position like this and the sword's down here, there, there's very you know they're, they're limiting their ability to counterattack. Um, and this is not a rapier, you know, so it's not something that you can easily bring up and it's, I mean the only thing you can really do from here is just bring turn it into a into a thrust and you can only you know if this was a type X I wouldn't be able to easily do that because I don't have that type of point control um, the other thing is if I see somebody with the sword down here I mean you can just come in and basically just trap that arm in the down position so they can't get their sword up um, so, so there's nothing but bad things that can come out of this type of a block uh, the other thing is if, if somebody's in that position and I'm now striking, okay, all right, and then let's say they're blocking it, all right, so I'm using my true edge here, true edge, then I'm going to flip it around and use the false edge, okay, so at some point I'm going to flip the sword over to the back side, and I can really, and I'm going to get around their sword, uh, and, and I'll hit them, okay, um, and basically from, you know, and, and, and I wouldn't even spend too much time here, I would actually come in, you use that attack to keep the sword there, bind it with the shield, and then just come in and go for a headshot or you know whatever's available up there. Okay, so so don't do this. This is not good. Uh, you know, use the shield. You know, um, you know. Basically, you gotta cover your head. If you're gonna go that low, you gotta cover your head and be aware that 
from here, I mean, if, if you don't feel immediate contact on your shield, they're probably coming over to the other side. So when you, when you take this block here, be prepared to immediately come here because they, you know, if they're not striking you here, they, they're going to come to the other side. So that's one of the things that you really, you know, you'll, you have to anticipate. You have to be aware of where you're blocking, where you're open, okay, and be aware that while you're blocking on, on, on this side, uh, you're opening on the other side, and that is the next most likely place that they're going to go. Um, so a couple of things for you guys to think about as far as attacking and defending the low legs. Um, if you like the video, um, you know, give it a thumbs up, share it. Uh, if you're not a member, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.